Why are you doing this? We have done nothing wrong. Xavier crying for someone who cares. I should do something. Go ahead, all to your death. That will be of great use to them. Why am I always stuck with guard duty? Here, betrayal this burned out hovel. Wasting my time. it is, it will continue until you have defeated the Vizier. You cannot help these people. Then let us make haste. seem to feed off the sands. Kill them before they steal any more from you! Thank <laughs> you. 
onward and upward, Prince. Hurry to the palace and reclaim your throne. I'm moving as fast as I can. What do you suggest? One can always dream. Babylon's defenders still live. The city is not yet taken. Perhaps father is among them. Should I continue from here? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. What is this? Someone helping us? Who is there? You have done me a great service. Show yourself that I might thank you. So very strange. I wonder... No. It is silly to think such things. little detour. But let us be on with it. Head down to street level and we will look for a way to regain the rooftops. You are an insistent inner voice, aren't you? Well, someone has to make the decisions.
I continue my I will continue my story from here next time. I don't like the looks of this. This thing was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. him directly. This where I would. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. The prince fled from the arena, embarrassed by the unwanted attention, fearful that they might realize he was becoming a sand monster. But something tugged at him. The freed citizens believed he had come to rescue them. That people, his people, now lived when they should have died. This was just an accident. 
His thoughts had been only of reaching the Vizier and exacting revenge. Perhaps now the Prince would remember he once fought for something other than his lost honor. It was simply too soon to tell. Await your response. I have heard tales, wondrous tales of a beautiful and brave princess of India, one who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See? Now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. Continue my I will continue my story from here next time. Stranger. She remembers nothing of our past together. Because it never happened. You know, no sands of time, no Azad. You get the Vizier, but you lose the girl. It doesn't matter. We're better off without her. Or have you forgotten? Maybe a few arrows in the back will help stir your memory. We must catch up with her. Fair enough. Though I suspect you and I want different things from the girl.
Should I continue? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. You still have feelings for her. Admit it. Farah and I went through so much together. Though she may not remember, I can never forget. Come to possess that. Here we go again. I took it from the vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me, and all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of, but I intend to find him and punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman, the prince of Persia? And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. I'm impressed. I suppose it is wise to work together. There is strength in numbers, after all. I'm glad you've come around. Just don't make me regret it. Now let us find the Vizier. With the Dahaka defeated, the prince was slowly regaining pieces of his former self. 
The pressure and desperation which once drove him were gone. Grim as things seemed, there was now hope. Hope that peace could be restored to the land and to our tortured hero. But the vizier's army still hunted him. And they grew more determined by the hour. Is this where I, I will continue my story? What? What is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks' journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him, you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet. able to see these creatures, but you can still hear them. I'm not sure I like how this girl is always charging ahead. Fear not, she has already proved a valuable asset to us. been thinking about what Farah said earlier. She has a point. How do you plan to kill the Vizier? He's immortal now. The dagger made him into what he is. It can unmake him. I suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough.
careful. These creatures seem to feed off the sands. Kill them before they steal any more from you! Such a beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door.
Do you think you could move a little faster? You're more than welcome to come down here and try it yourself. Seven years and still nothing's changed. Seven years? What are you talking about? It's a figure of speech. There is something very odd about you. She has no idea. Ah, we are making progress. I think I see a bell in that tower. Perhaps if you can get me to the next balcony, I can sever its rope. You can use it to access the door switch. With my luck, it will probably trigger some terrible trap. Or summon sand monsters. Or bring about the end of the world. Would it kill you to show a little optimism? Experience has taught me wishful thinking only leads to disappointment. You did it! We did it. People hurt inside. We should help them. Now is not the time, Prince. You can help all you want later. Go, Farah. Tend to the wounded. I will catch up with you once I've dealt with the Vizier. And so the Prince and Pharaoh separated. She sought to save lives, he to end them. For the Prince intended to confront his enemy, and perhaps utilize the powerful warriors who had holed up inside the temple. 
His mind churned with thoughts of glorious vengeance. But something new as well. Descending into the depths, his thoughts kept returning to Farah. He wondered if she was thinking of him as well. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? a city is one thing, but to do so with such a violence and cruelty is something else entirely. I will return every blow he has landed against my kingdom. We are close, Prince. So close. Let us make him suffer. Defense. Fallen.
but seem to like the light. Lead them into the light! Strike while they are blind! came out again. Every time I reach him, he slips away. Why will he not just stay and fight? It would make things so much simpler. It is not always about combat, Prince. Some...
Babylon had finally fallen, and none were left to come to the prince's aid. He was now the city's only hope. If he failed, his entire world could be lost. For the vizier was not content to simply be a king. No. He fancied himself a god. The question now was whether the prince realized the position he was in. And if he did, would he accept this responsibility? <clears throat> Will he become a hero? Is this where I should resume good?